For those asking for the source code, it is available in this GitHub repo. The link can be found in the description. You can suggest new features, report bugs, etc. I would love to collaborate with all of you. Now, for those who want to use the application to create videos, first go to this link and download the YouTube Automator. For the speech, you can download this GitHub repo. This step is optional as you can also choose to use a different text-to-speech service, and I'll explain how to do that later in the video. For Tortoise TTS, check out this amazing video to learn how to change voices and settings. The link is in the description. Now that the initial steps are done, extract the TTS and run it by opening the start file. Wait for it to initialize. It will display TTS ready for generation. Then, extract the YouTube Automator. The first thing you'll need is a Gemini API key. It's easy to generate one. Go to Google and search for Gemini API key. Click the first result, then follow these steps to generate it. Copy the key and create a text file named Gemini Secret. Paste the API key inside. Eventually, I plan to change this to an environment variable, but for now, this method will work. Inside the folder, you'll see font.ttf, which is the font used in the video. Currently, it's Montserrat Bold. You can replace it with any font of your choice, just be sure to name it as font. You've completed the setup. Now, let's start the app by clicking on main.exe. Enter your topic, and it will generate a list of topics for you to choose from. If you don't like the suggestions, type minus one to regenerate. You can also type the title directly and select it. Review the content. And if it looks good, type E to confirm or regenerate if needed. Once done, the first step is complete. Next, go to the output folder, where you'll see a text file called text. Modify the content if necessary. Now let's move on to the next stage. If you have the model running, you can type yes, and it will start generating the voices. If you prefer to use other models like 11 labs, type no and proceed. If you select no, check the line by line text file in the output folder. Take each line and generate speech for each part, saving them from part zero to part n once that's done. Move to the next stage. The app will automatically generate your images and create the video. Your video will be saved in the output folder. If the image generation is bad, then change the text in the line by line text file before image generation, but make sure to revert it before video creation. I hope you found it helpful. Thank you for watching.